Hey everybody. Good evening. How are you doing? Um, happy Sunday. It is Sunday. Had a nice few days. Didn't do much. Stayed around the house. Um, what I just wanted to come on and say hi. Anybody get any new lounge fly bags? There are lounge fly bags. Pre-orders are being taken for June, July. I mean, there's pre-orders that are actually being taken for like December. I don't know where to look anymore with that. So if I see something, yeah, that's nice, but I'm not crazy about it. Anyway, um, my husband's working tonight. That's why I'm, that's why I'm up. It's like 10 o'clock at night, but he's going to be coming home around midnight. So I just wait for him. But then what's nice about it is he has tomorrow off. So I'll have him here, which happens to be my mall day. So I guess I'm not going to the mall. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm going to be expecting some more paparazzi jewelry. So I'll be doing some more reviews. I'm very excited. Um, I won a few pieces. And then I'm in another contest to win some more stuff, you know, and that's really it on that one. What else? Disney news is that the character that plays Finn from the Star Wars movie, um, there was a situation with him. He actually, they were filming something. I think they're filming something else now for Star Wars. He basically walked off the set. So he's having some problems with uh, certain, uh, certain, I think the production company or some of the, or the producer or something. I, the, the, the article says at the end of it that he came out and he was having a family issue. Now to me, family issue, he was having situations with certain people on the set. He was having certain situations with people that are behind the scenes, like uh, executive producers or, or director or something like that. But this is what he, this is what they said he came out with, that he was having a family issue. I don't believe that. I don't believe that. Disney has ways of doing crap to you to where you probably figured yourself, hey, listen, you know what? F you, I'm out of here. <laughs> Take care, I'm out of here. But uh, I guess... As it'll unfold, which I am going to keep my eye on it. I found that to be interesting. I mean, poor Finn. Ugh. Um, Disneyland has what I was seeing from certain videos that um, they have the um, uh, Marvel section open in Disneyland. They were doing like the stunt shows and stuff. That looks pretty cool. That looks pretty cool. And, and not for nothing, uh, the character that plays Loki... Or actually, the the Marvel character Loki. I'm kind of digging him. I don't know. I don't know about this, you know. So there's gonna be some things with him in it and everything, and the the series and the thing on Netflix. And I want to check this out. <laughs> you know, I did get to see the uh, the movie Raya. I did watch it. So for us, for Disney Plus regular folks, now we get to see it. The movie has been released to everybody. So I managed to watch it yesterday morning at about 4.30 a.m. Sometimes I just can't sleep. And um, yeah, I liked it. I liked I liked the story. I did. And somebody else had mentioned on one of the boards, oh, you know, did anybody see the movie Raya? Um, I was kind of missing. I thought there was going to be like a musical um, like music in it, but there was nothing in it for music. No, can't you just sit and watch a straight movie? I was hoping that she wouldn't bust out into a song or anything, because that to me is like, does everything I have a song in it? I actually liked the story. I did, you know. And again, it's a uh, honor fighting for her family. She, you know, with the, with the dragon and learning the history of the dragon, and the, it was really cool. I. I I liked it. I really did. So, um, what else? What else? And you do see something different. <laughs> I managed to do my hair today, finally. I was putting it off for the longest time. 
I started seeing gray on the sides. I cannot stand gray. Not right now in my life. I just can't do it. Can't do it in my life. So I says I gotta knock that, knock that out. So I did. I went back to my hair color, and um, this has, actually has purple in it. It's more like a blackish purple. So the only thing is, is like when this color always comes out, the black starts fading, but yet the purple stays. <laughs> It's, it looks pretty cool after a while, but you know, I went back to my rock store, my rocket chick look. So I'm excited about that. And it looks kind of cool. Um, I have a, another friend of mine who is a consultant for the company. Let me see if I can get this name right. Color Street. And it involves um, nail polish. It's like um, press-on nail polish. It's not press-on nails. It's press-on nail polish. I'm just learning about it. My uh, a friend invited me to the Facebook group, so I, I went on tonight. And I just stopped on just to see, you know, check it out, feel it out, what it's about. And um, I watched some of the videos. I went on the website and I watched some of the videos of how to apply it. I think it's a cute concept. Um, I was also involved in a game tonight with that. We uh, That person went live for their um, sales and they were playing bingo. And it's the fifth anniversary or fourth anniversary of the Color Street company. So she was having a game of bingo and, you know, people were popping on and popping off. Now, there's the thing now with Facebook. They're like really getting annoying. I have friends um, that are musicians on there. Their livelihood right now is because they can't perform live. And yes, I do know quite a few musicians. They can't perform live. So they go on, they rely on Facebook. Uh, they use a uh, PayPal account. You can donate some money to them, you know, and, uh, you know, sometimes I have another friend. She's a, she's a real cool singer. She, um, does a thing every Thursday night on her Facebook page where she does like a karaoke thing, but you know, she said she's a, she's a, she has an amazing voice. She'll, um, if you request a song, sometimes like you, you know, you donate a little money to request a song and she will play the song. She will sing the song for you. So that's pretty cool. Everybody has their own little gigs, but Facebook now is like, if you're playing a song in the background, the copyrighted music, they're going to cut you off. They cut you off here. They cut you off. My friend was playing um, Alexa. Stop. Alexa, stop. I can't. I mean, if I think her name, she just comes on. Um, and it's funny because when sometimes when I have my phone, and I'm in the kitchen doing something, and I'll have my phone on the counter, and my friend who's on live selling the paparazzi jewelry, my representative, she'll request something of her, and mine will start playing because it heard her give the command. So mine starts playing. I says, well, I says, I have to turn the sound down because you're talking and she's babbling. She's starting to play the music that you're requesting in your own house. She's playing it here. I can't even think your name, honey. Oh. Alexa, I love you. That's really nice. Thank you. Oh. Alexa, you're funny. Thanks. Alexa. Alexa, you have nothing to say tonight? Sorry, I'm not sure about that. Oh, I stumped her. Anyway, I, I, sometimes I do. I talk to her. It's like, because there's nobody here, I'll talk to her just for fun. All right. Yeah, so there are performers. There are singers. You have people that are selling stuff. And these people are only trying to make a living. I mean, but Facebook is kind of getting in the way of that. They're kind of nitpicky. Then they actually filter out certain um, comments. If you're on a live chat, you're on live, the person is, let's say, selling something or singing something, they, from their end, won't be able to see all the comments until after the live feed goes off. Does Facebook want money? I don't know. Um, are, they, are they 
getting upset because people are actually making money and they're using them as, you know, it's a tool, it's a good tool to use, you know? I mean, the internet is a super information highway. What is wrong with, I don't understand, but whatever the case may be. So if you're playing a song in the background, if you're doing this, they're, they're gonna nitpick, they're gonna cut it off. Um, just tonight I was on live with something and then they got cut off and then everybody in the room started getting cut off one by one. Then all of a sudden I was the only one in the room. I hate when that happens, I get embarrassed. <laughs> but being that I'm so supportive, that's what I do. Um, yeah, so we were playing bingo tonight on the uh, uh, live feed from a friend of mine, Color Street, that she sells the um, appliable nail polish. And lo and behold, I won. So I'm going to be getting some samples in the mail, and I would like to really try it. You know, I haven't went to a nail salon. I can't. Look at these hands. They do look better than what they did. Now, over here, the light, the way the light is making it look, it's making it look more horrible. It really isn't. They really don't look bad. They are softer. I'm still doing my, my uh, lotion, my regimen at nighttime. That's the best that I can do. It's the best that I can do right now. It went up to 91 degrees here today. There were people out at the pool, but I don't want to go without my husband. I don't, I don't feel right. It, it's, not, it's not fair and it's not right. So I'm going to wait for him, and then me and him could maybe go to the pool. I think after June 28th, the pool will be open every day until September because it's going to be open 82 days for the summer thing. So right now they're only open on the weekends. And for the last two days, it's, it's basically been 91. So there have been people in that pool. It's nice to see, you know, interaction. It's nice to see people out there and just, you know, one's laying in the sun, the other one's laying in the, on the grass blanket. You know, somebody else uh, had dibs in the shade, you know. It's just nice to see. So I was just looking out the window. I didn't even sit on the terrace. What I've been doing is with 91 degree heat, I have a fan here in the living room and I have a fan in the bedroom. I have not had the air conditioner on because basically it's not really summer yet. That's how I look at it. I keep the door closed. I keep the blinds just ajar, I, just enough to allow sunlight in. I keep the windows closed. I know it's like a hermit thing. But what that does is it, I'm beating the heat. In the morning, it's like 62, 63. I go outside and have my coffee. Then it's like cold, cool, you know, really cool and cold. I actually had a light jacket on yesterday morning. It was like 58 degrees at 6.30 in the morning. I went out there, had my coffee, read the newspaper, and I was cold. It was, it was great. But then, you know, after 12 noon, <clears throat> the here comes the sun, here comes the heat, and then it shot up to 91. After I came in, I shut everything. I cut everything, cut the air off and everything. I put the fans on, and it stayed cool in here. So I said, this is good. I'm getting away with it. I did it again today. It worked out well. So I was happy. 91 degrees outside, but it was about, I think my, my thermostat said 79. That's fine. <coughs> Excuse me. That's fine. I'll take it. So. Other than that, I'm just waiting for my husband to come home. Maybe I'll have a shower. I don't know. Let's see what I can do. All right, people. I just wanted to stop by. I just wanted to say hi. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for subscribing. Hope everybody's having a great weekend. Hope you guys are having a safe weekend. If there's heat, try and be cool. You go out there. Even though we're still, you know, we're all, most of us are fully vaccinated. You need to wear your masks outside, you know, out amongst public and people. I still don't feel right about it, and I'm totally vaccinated, so. Alrighty. Anyhow, thank you so much again. Have a great day. If I get my paparazzi, hopefully at some point. I'm thinking it was supposed to be here Tuesday. Tomorrow's Monday. I'm thinking it'll, it'll show up sometime tomorrow. That would be cute. So then I will do an unbagging for you. All right, people. Take care. Love to all. Have a great night. Bye-bye.